Welcome to another teacher tip with Mr. Long and this is a video that might not be used necessarily by you but it might be a video that you might want to show your students. So sometimes there might be a situation where you have a student that cannot read the text very clearly or cannot understand when they read the text and they require a reader. There are lots of reasons why a student would need a reader uh, but and sometimes schools will organize a reader for an assessment but if you're in the classroom and you have general activities that you want the students to do you want them to still have access to a reader but you might not have that person available so what you can use if you've got a computer that's got some sort of sound for either your headphones or the computer can project sound you can use your digital documents and have them being read to the student now to do that I'm going to come here to review on a word document if I come here to review and yeah you'll see this read aloud option if I click on it you'll get access to this little piece over here which allows you to read so I'm going to put my cursor over there and I'm going to click on the play button so that we can start reading the text Video provides a powerful way to help you prove your point. and if I want to move it to this particular point I move my cursor there and then I can click on play for example you can add a matching cover page so those are the options available to you. You can also click on this little settings over here and you can change who the reader is. Maybe we don't like David, we want this person. And you can reduce the reading speed or increase it if you want. Most of the time you'll probably will be reducing it. So if I do that and come over here, let's hear what Zara sounds like if it's a bit slower. You can also tag the keyword. Okay, so if that's the speed you want, you can, or you can just speed it up a bit. I want to go a little bit faster, please. Oh, that's a bit too fast but you get the idea so you can obviously adjust those settings for you in a word document so if you go to review read aloud you have access to that for your students now you can also do this in a pdf document if you've got adobe so yeah i've got one of my documents for pdf and if i come here to the view option there is a read aloud option where we can activate or deactivate now i've already activated it so you can deactivate but i'm going to go and say no i actually want to put it back on please activate the read aloud, and now you can actually click on particular text for it to be read so if i come down here i want i don't know what that is let's click on it focus on examination preparation uh, and then i want this particular line use this to practice your time management of a three-hour exam so there you get the idea. So those tools are available for you if you want students to be read to or if you need a reader but you don't have the person available but you've got a computer and you've got a digital document then maybe you can use that. For more teacher tips go to our YouTube channel, click on that subscribe button, please share this with other teachers so that we can help them as well. Go look at our playlist for more help and remember don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long Way.